emails, you probably saw some blogs along the way about providing enough variety for your small animal. So the thing is this, when they're outside, um, you know, they're wild cousins, when they're out there in the meadows, in the fields, in the forest floor, they eat all kinds of different things. So they get a really wide um, cross-section of nutrients and they eat, they eat flowers, petals, they eat shoots and leaves, sometimes they eat pine um, needles, they chew bark off of things, they chew um, little, little tiny sapling um, stems, all kinds of different things. When we bring them into our homes, we typically give them maybe some fresh greens with a little variety, but other than that, they get one kind of hay and they get you know, maybe some pellets and that's about it. So not only do they get bored um, in terms of just, well, this is the same old thing, um, but they also might be missing out on some micronutrients, enzymes, coenzymes, all kinds of little tiny stuff. They, they can also, you know, they'll, they'll start to kind of not eat as much hay if they get bored. And we know, we all know how important it is for them to eat as much hay as they possibly will um, to, to keep that GI tract moving. So we want to encourage hay and we want to keep them also satisfied and stimulated mentally. Knowing that when they're outside foraging for themselves, they eat a little bit, then they search for the next thing, the next tasty bit, they eat a little bit, they search for the next tasty bit. They're always foraging. They spend 75% of their waking hours foraging, which just means looking for the next tasty bit. So in order to provide them um, an outlet for their natural behaviors, one of the things that we can do with our herbal mixes like Flower Power Berry Boost is to place little bits of this, just little, little bits like that, in various places around um, their living area or around um, where, 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 where they're hanging out with you in the evening. So you might want to put some inside one of their tunnels or behind their little hut or, um, you know, if there's a particular um, place on the couch where they like to sit with you at night, put a little tiny bit there so that they can actually hunt for their food. Foraging is essentially hunting. It's just hunting plants. <laughs> so um, that is one way that you can help them kind of express their rabbitness or guinea pigness. Um, and it does help. It does help their behavior. They become less frustrated. Um, and, and a frustrated rabbit is a bad rabbit. Um, guinea pigs certainly as well, but rabbits are, are kind of famous for the things they get up to when they get bored. We won't go into the dirty details of all that, but you all know what I'm talking about.